They say you're the average of the five people you hang out with most. For this 4th of July, in the spirit of independence, I wanted to use my privilege and filmmaking skills to share the story of one of my favorite ski buddies, Sharif, the brown blader, who's been snowblading some of the biggest lines in the Tetons in the name of fun. We're talking about how American it is to be red, white, blue, and high vis. We got red. Gaping has become its own sport. White, blue. Either you're doing rad shit, that's super dangerous and getting hurt, or you're doing dumb shit that's super fun. And living to blade another day. Red, white, blue. And brown. Lindsay Dyer here, journalist, here to capture the story of the brown blader, a dear friend of mine for a long time, with an inspiring story to tell. John Walters, John Walters, Joel Tate, Glenn Wade, Timber Bryant, Tyler Horn, Lindsay Dyer, the Brown Blade. <laughs> Someday someone will blade that. <laughs> someone already has. Rajat Bahiani. <laughs> We're the only brown people on the mountain. Will yell, hey Johnny Walker, hey Bin Laden. I would get spit at and cussed at. I was at a bar and the guy next to me at the bar asked the bartender why he was serving me because he thought I was going to bomb them. Skiing is, especially in the US, just inherently a white sport. For me, it's more of a, a symbol of pride. I, I've never had monetary goals that's never been the drive, and it's still not the drive. For the last seven years, I've had one dream, and that's to snowblade Central Kular off Cody Peak. I'm a little bit nervous. I shat myself, uh, almost shat myself in the car from the cabin there. I think I'm mostly bored because you know, everything I put on my like list of things to do in life when I was a kid, I, I did. You know, sail around the world, ski Mount Rainier, you know, run a marathon, produce a movie, produce a festival, you know, like get published, all that kind of stuff. The whole brown blader and the whole concept of snowblading central and now snowblading the Grand Teton is the backcountry hazard in all aspects. It's totally ridiculous. Go big or go home. There's nothing serious about it. It's extreme. But it gives me something to work towards. It gives me something that no one's ever done before. And like gets the adrenaline up, but is really playful and, and fun at the same time. Oh, ah. That's what she said. My family is from Jordan and they immigrated to the U.S. when my, my dad was like eight years old. And when I was nine, my parents got divorced and my mom decided we needed a new family sport. And so we got put on the ski bus every Saturday, learned how to ski at Alpental and Snoqualmie Ski Acres. I just fell in love with it. Started skipping school and skiing all the time. I was the Gaper King, three years running. Snowblading off the roof of Nick Wilson's with big feet duct taped to my tennis shoes. Good. Epic. What's your message to the kids? No matter where you come from, no matter what your parents did, you can be whatever you want when you grow up. You could even be a blader. Red, white, blue, and brown. Happy 4th of July.